Welcome to first grade. Fly into first grade. I'm hoping you're going to fly and soar and learn lots of new things this year. As you enter our room, you're going to see on the right your mailboxes. You will store your take home folders in the mailbox and I will pass back any papers that need to go home for you each night. On the top you will see the green basket labeled Monday folders. This is where you're going to put your Monday folders every Monday when you bring them back to school. Over here to, oh I'm moving a little fast for you. Over here to the left we have how we are going home. We have the bus riders, the walk home students, and the cougar care students. So you can see your tag and your name. If for any reason you are going home a different way, you can let me know and we will um, change that up. All right. As we keep going, we have our Give Me Five poster. And the first area we come to is the word work. Hanging from the ball is the eye chart that you will follow what to do with word work. And we have our shelf with some tools on it that we're going to be using at the beginning of the year. So you can see we have some magnetic letters. We have some sand to write in. We have some slates, markers, and erasers, some chalk, some magnetic letters, some clay, some templates with alphabet, wiki sticks, slates at the bottom, and some sleeves. Please remember to return all of your materials when you are done using them to this white shelf for word work. Next to the word work area is data to tweet about. We will be posting any data that we collect throughout the year. This week's goals will be posted here. Things that we are working on for the week. Skills we want you to remember. Underneath here is the word work area. So I have a desk and then I have this long table. You will um, be able to use the black stools when you're doing word work back in this area. As we continue over, we have a round table, and above the round table it says, listen to reading. So when we get working on daily five, you will go to this area for listen to reading. Over on the whiteboard, we have a graph. So tomorrow we're going to start graphing how we come to school, and you can put your names up in the graph each day we graph. Next to that is daily math. So we'll be talking about that as we go, things we're going to do for math. On the white tall shelf, we will have all of our math tools that we're using for the day. In this corner, we also have the trampoline. You can jump on the trampoline and say your addition facts or jump on the trampoline and do your counting. So counting by ones, twos, fives and tens. I don't think many of you have looked back here, but behind the cabinet we have some math tools we'll be using throughout the year. You can see the beans and the counters and the money, some dice, some dice trays, um, a clock, and then just some other tools we'll be using and I'll be pulling those out as we go. Alright, over here to the right our stamina chart. What is stamina? The book hospital. When you find a book that is falling apart or broken, you will put it in the book hospital for me to fix and repair. Under the book hospital is the whisper phones. So when you are reading to self and you need to read quietly, you can whisper read the story to yourself. When you take a whisper phone, please remember to return it back to the bin. Right now we have all of the blue tubs 
math tubs in here and we will be storing those here until all of our green tubs come in. To the right of that is your book bin area. Your book bins are located on the shelf. Please remember to return your book bins here neatly. We have the red bins, then purple, and then blue. Some book bins that you'll be, or a big books you'll be reading. And then along the windowsill we have all of the books, lots of books in our classroom library that you will be reading. In this area we have the read to self area. So right above the couch I have read to self. And here we have the couch, the tables for read to self time. Please take care of our couch so that it doesn't go live in Callie's bedroom, right? And here we have some cushions so you can put these down next to the table and read to self there also. As we continue around the room I see another white cabinet that's going to have our green bins in as soon as we get them. And then over here we have the Daily Five board. Read to self, work on writing, word work, listen to reading, and read to someone. We also have our three ways to read a book that we talked about yesterday. And read to self, building our stamina. So the first day our building stamina was eight minutes. We are going to work on our stamina for each area so that we are up to 20 minutes. Over in this area, we have the work on writing. So in this corner, you will be doing your work on writing. We have a writing bulletin board. I can write a list is one of the first things we're going to be working on. We also have other words that you might want to know how to spell. Numbers, days of the week, months of the year, color words. And then I have a checklist and what good writers do. And then of course we need some topics to write about so we'll have fall words. On the other side are going to be your writing tools. So some papers to write on, notebooks to write on, and then some more papers to write with. In this corner I also have a box with pencils and pens and sticky notes and erasers for you to use when you are in the work, work on writing area. Alright, as we go around the room, we now see the word wall. As we go through the year, we'll be adding all of the words, the Dolch words that you are learning on the word wall. We have the colors and your names up there right now. You're going to use the word wall in writing. So while you're doing work on writing and you need to know how to spell a word, it might be on the word wall. So you can use that to help you. All right, then we have the rocking chair. As many of you have learned, this is, this is Alder's chair. So you will be sitting on the rug. When it's time to gather, you will sit on the rug and four of you can sit on the bench. This is one of our tables. You can see right now we're going to store all of your supplies in the back of your chair. Folders, notebooks, and clipboard will go here. And then your pencil box will go at the bottom. As we continue around the room, we have our cafe board. Here we're going to be talking about reading, ways to read, strategies to help you read. Comprehension, A is for accuracy, F is for fluency, and E is for expanded vocabulary. Here is the wind chime. When you hear the wind chime, you will stop, look, and listen. Wait for directions because we are changing what we are doing. Underneath the cafe board is the iPad station. Here is where you will turn in your iPads, starting with 1 through 6. 
7 through 12, and then 13 through 18, and then I'll have my iPad on the end. In this shelf, I am storing things that we will use for working with the teacher. This is my kidney table. So when you come to work with the teacher, you'll be working here with Mrs. Alders. Oh, there's Callie. She's doing her homework. What a good girl. Back in this corner is my desk. It's a little messy right now. And over in this corner, I'm going to have the birthdays. So we'll be taking your pictures with your birthdays. All right, over here behind my desk is a cart with three colors, red, yellow, and blue. On the top is a green basket. And this green basket is where you're going to turn in any of your papers that need to be turned in for me. <coughs> These are all Mrs. Alder's materials, books, that I need to use for teaching you. On top of here, I will have papers that will be up and coming and working on. And we have the file cabinets that we store our things in. I do want to point out one drawer in the file cabinet, and that's this bottom drawer. What do you think is in here? Kleenexes! When we run out of Kleenexes, we'll open this drawer and pull out another box, so you can help me with that. As we continue around the room, you see the sink. We have a nice blue stool for you. Be careful. Sometimes if you catch the edge of it, it will flip up on you, so be careful there. And we have a drinking fountain and a faucet. Please remember to turn off both of them when you are done using them. Up to the top, we have Cougar Pride and Respect. Ways that we will be respecting ourselves, each other, and our school. The cafeteria, arrival and dismissal, assembly, the bathroom, the hallways, the playground, and the bus. All right, over here I have a box of Kleenexes with the paper cutter. And here is our pencil sharpening station. So when it is your job to sharpen pencils before you go out for your second recess, you will get the pencils from the pink bin, sharpen them, and put them back in the the orange bin. These are ready to write. And now we are back at the beginning. So I'm just going to show you around the classroom. Oh, up here is our alphabet. So you can see how the letters are written using the lines and the spaces. Our American flag. Our clock and again a quick picture around the room with the couch the tables above this table by the sink we have read to someone so over in this area is where I'm going to want you to read to someone so I'm so excited to welcome you to our classroom and I look forward to lots of learning this year